I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Keith Freeman. We also have Keith Price, the infamous Tiffany Hinyard. We're not going to talk about Delgado tonight, but we do have another person that I want to talk about. And I'm going to ask y'all some questions about Mr. Robert. Okay. Now, you know, guys, I, I be falling for it. Yes. I be falling for it. That's why my feelings be hurt. When I first saw Mr. Roberts, this gentleman right here, I felt so bad for him. I said to myself, why is this monster right here yelling at him, telling him what to do? And he's so fidgety. He's so like, mm, like he don't want to be there. So I have uncovered some information or just paid attention to something that was on the credit card Um receipts. Now this credit card receipt is going to hi uh, highlight 2023. I only had time to go over the full 2023. So I went over the credit card statements and I also went over the bank statements. Okay. That was related to the funds, the general funds, the, <clears throat> hold on, let me, let me, let me get my paper. So we, I, I was able to go over some bank accounts that highlighted the general assistance funds, the flexible spending fund, also the money market account. I have taken some pictures of these documents. So you guys can go to the meeting, fully load it and ask some important questions. And as you know, I'm always going to come with a simple solution because I do think it's a simple solution to this credit card blunder. Okay. Now, um, what should I start? Because these characters are ridiculous. What I'm going to do is let me give y'all a flashback. Matter of fact, let me creep. Y'all know how I like to do. Let's creep real quick. We're going to go. Oh, oh, shoot. Why did I do that? Hold on one second. I went on Facebook. Let me make sure that I'm pulling up the right stuff. And I just put in Keith Price. We're going we're gonna to start with thicker than a snickel. Finger licking. Uh, 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 chicken licking. Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, they said that's all he was doing, ordering food and stuff like that. Keith Price, the light is on you right now. We're going to start with Keith Price. Okay, so the first thing that I did was go on Facebook and like, let me just pick it. What you got going on? This is just going to be an introductory to Keith Price because look at me. Look at me. I'm up there. Hold on. I didn't mean for that to happen. I guess that's what's because uh, his name. Look at that. That's ridiculous. All right. So basically I put Keith Price name in Facebook and there's some things that has come up. Okay. So I wanted to highlight that with you guys just go because you know, I'll be creeping. Dalton politics always have something good to say and something good to highlight. So Keith Price was added to the Thornton Township CC in May. That's the credit card. I think that was right around the time of the subpoenas. This shows a sign of a sign of shift in power beginning to take place. They said in May. So Keith Price's name is on these credit cards, and we have enough credit card um, charges to highlight some of the things that he did. So that's what we're going to highlight there. This was from July 23rd. Another post connected to Keith Price. Keith Price keeps um, Keith Price keep keep 
big because he keep getting 50% raises from Tiffany. So even Keith Price got almost 28K raise. That's over 50% raise in salary in one year. I've never seen any government job giving raises this month. So we went into that prior where we kind of started talking about Keith Price. And you remember when I was like, that wasn't how much he made. It was This is what we pulled up before, which was about $80,000. And I'm like, mm. I don't believe that the way she moved, it got to be some other stuff going. But I would understand the $80,000 a year if you were over the food pantry. And that's what we're going to highlight, guys. It is so important. This was one of the things that I have not heard really buzzing around, but I really think it should be buzzing around. When they do the finances for Thornton and pay attention, they're going to see that something is going on with the food pantry. We're going to Flashback to that today as well. Okay, so this says, um, that's right, Keith Price, keep running your mouth. Your day is coming much sooner than you know. So Keith Price, he be talking shit. He be talking shit. Okay, so they, the residents be on him, and he has a history of talking, okay? I have did a little bit of research um, about him, and we're going to do a deep dive on him in the next coming weeks, okay? Because he has a history of Crooked heads rest on his conscience. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm going to sing for y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, it's a good day. Hit the like button. Okay, I'm going to keep y'all entertained before y'all go to this Thornton meeting and keep y'all educated real quick. Keep me educated. So, Lori Lightfoot, you're not fooling me. You were first of the worst mirrors in Chicago have ever seen. Hmm. This is him talking shit. Suburbs, stop letting these Chicago polos come out here. And dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll probably look at his post. So this was, oh, yeah. I forgot it was the post. Let me look at the post because he did do the post. This, this jigger. Let me go to Keith Price page real quick because it was a, he, it made a newspaper. I thought I had it. Oh, crazy self. Crazy self. Over there talking, he talking so much shit that he made a little paper. He told Lightfoot, go about your business, girl. You're crooked. Oh, I said, you want to talk stuff, don't you? You can't talk stuff where you, the one, are crooked as well. Let me see. I'm trying to do it the hard way. Let me just go on Facebook and go on his page. Because this jigger, this jigger, he be talking shit. He talking shit right in your face. You think this man care? At least Keith uh, Freeman is quiet. At least Keith Freeman is quiet. But we're going to look at uh, Keith Freeman um, spending. Baby, Keith Freeman spending is on ridiculous. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Is it on this page? Let me go back to the Thornton um, page. Let me see. I want to see the article real quick. Y'all can see it. Please hit the like button. What are you talking about here? The photo, uh, the photo on this page should be taken down immediately. It's not the police station. Oh, so this is the pitch. This broad. Thank you, Annie Marie Price. Oh, you the chic. I didn't even know that. So this police station is actually um the fitness center that she just put the sign on. You see that nice old sign? People will think that that's a police station. You remember how she was like the lights be was off and then it was back on. Oh my god. This was what 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 year is this? Oh, oh, do they still got oh shit, y'all? You know I be getting a little distracted. Do you know? Let's go to Dalton Page real quick. Do you know these jiggers got this shit up as the police department? Yo, people be telling that's why you know no problem with telling the truth. This is on the actual official page, this same damn picture. And this police station ain't open. Talk about a damn fraud. I'm going to move on. You know, I'll be getting a little distracted. Oh, my goodness. Can you? Can you? You think they could get a fine for that? I think somebody mentioned that as well, that they could get in trouble for that, for acting like a police station. 
Hold on. Let's get back to this. I'm going to get back to Keith, right? Y'all know how I do. We just going to scroll just a little bit. Um, they're talking about the meeting tonight. So as far as the meeting, I'm going to be jumping into the Super Mayor, uh, Super Mayor, oh, she, Super Producers um, live. She's going live. So I'm going to check it out there because I know this one is going to be pretty long. And then I'm going to come back next week and do, you know, a separate rebuttal or, you know, give my take on what happened. But I'm going to watch it tonight since we're doing this. OK, um, I'm trying to find an article where KP went off a little bit. If I find that article, I'm going to put it up because he was talking shit, basically talking shit about Miss Lightfoot saying that she ain't hitting the lick. OK, please go about your business. You crooked, too. That's what he said. Not me. OK, that is, I just try to tell you it's something about this man. When I met him, he don't, he crooked. But then he tell it. Like it is, but crooked. That's what made me think, like, is he all right? Because he kind of saying straight shooter shit. That's like obvious. He said he was saying shit about Henry. Like, I don't agree with everything and da da da. The same things I was telling you, you know. So it kind of threw me like, okay, maybe he has some common sense. Okay. But I don't know. All right. So let's see. We already showed you that they perpetrated in the fraud, found that out on live, that they still got that daggone picture. And now we're going to do a flashback about Keith Price. And the reason why I'm doing this, the video got uh, some spins and I'm grateful. It got about 5,000. That's great. I just want to remind y'all while y'all going today, what's going on with the food pantry. Okay. Six million dollars is a whole lot. And wait till we get into some of these statements. Whoa, wait till we get into the money market account. There's been some shit going on. We got a little, a lot to talk about today, okay? Just buckle up. Grace Lee Bonham found some shit, okay? So let's do a little flashback. Let's go to flash. Blessings, blessings, everyone. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Get in the comments, say what you want to say. There you go. We're here for it. I was looking for something up here too, something else. But anyway, let's get to it. Oh, this is what I was going to look for. Y'all know I'm my own producer. I'm getting it together. Flashback. All right, let's play it. Let's get it. Food pantry. Hey, I'm they doing shit like that? All right, let's get to it. So this is the general assistant fund for 2024. So I guess we're going to work backwards because I got 2001, like, this goes back to 2022. And then the other document I have from 2023 and it goes to 2021. So it's kind of like a repeat of the data. But we're going about to watch yeah, this right here. Right here. little problem here. Okay. This is dangerous. Oh, look at his butt. Y'all need to find out why they made this man take Keith Price's place. Keith Freeman. And the food pantry that he's been over for years. Correction. Has such a big budget. And have over six million dollars close to every year going out in donations, but the food purchases are different. Okay, can I put the can y'all see this? Can you see it? Let me see. Can I um zone it up just a little bit? Can you see it? This is what I need y'all to pay attention to. Pantry food donated five million dollars plus. This is for 2022. Again. 2023, 5 million plus. This year, they're only doing 3 million. That's million. That's all I'm asking. When you look at the other numbers here, they're cheap. They're, they're, they're much less. Like special project, 113,000, then 76,000. Holiday blanket is 121,000, then 200, 223. A little bit steep, but these numbers, look at the numbers, y'all. You lost me at the 6 million. So I wanted to highlight that. I can also get into the other document, but the other document is the same thing. Pretty much there is too much money coming out of your food pantry. Now I'm so glad that God made me think about it yes. that time because when I looked at Keith Price, I said, what the, is he from the food pantry? Oh my God. It is so much money coming out of the food pantry. Okay. Now, so that was a flashback, y'all. I just had to put it on a glass real quick. That was from when we talked about the Harvey Food Pantry, over like $5 million coming out every year and not that much money going into the food. So I'm trying to say, how you ain't got, you got 800000 worth of food in one year and you're giving out $5 million. I had to look at the numbers again, like, wait a minute, where's the decimals here? No, this isn't a million tier. 
This is in the millions. So this is the first of the three stooges. Okay, according to what well, the musketeers, he called them the Jerome called them the musketeers. Uh-huh. Still, still that's what I what was the musketeers about? Did they used to take from the rich, get to the poor, something like that? I don't I never forgot what the musketeers. They three damn stooges. That's what they are. So I want y'all to remember that this thicker than a snicker person may still have his hands on the Thornton Township credit card. Not only does he have his hands on a Thornton Township credit card, he has access to the financial record because we know that him and Miss Camilla was arguing about that. He was like, it's going to be not my reputation. I gave it to her. And uh, y'all saw how he almost was about to bust in the back of the head, allegedly. That was my observation. I was like, man, hold up, back up, sir. The lady was holding his hand like, wait, wait. He was getting upset. Y'all better watch that, man. Okay. So that is just an intro to them till I get into the credit cards, but we're just going to highlight a little bit about them. Also, what we're going to do today, I want people to know that this is going to be broken up. We got two cases, not one, but two case reads for you today. And they both involve Keith Price. One involves Keith Price, Robert Hunt, and Tiffany Hilliard. Okay, first one person. And then the other one is Tiffany Hinyard, Keith, Keith Freeman, and someone else, okay? So we got two court reads for you guys. And you know I'm going to split it up, and they're going to be on two different videos. So you don't have to sit for both of them, but we're going to get it in. Guys, I'm about to get busy, so I want to make sure that y'all have enough ammunition to kick ass, okay? Kick ass. So let's get to it. Um, Let's move on into this sucker. Let me see. Now we're going to do a little flashback. Let's put them on a glass. Put them on a glass, girl. You know, you know I'm an 80s baby, grew up in the 90s. <laughs> anyway, let's do a little flashback on Mr. Keith Price. We know what happened to, I mean, Keith Freeman. Keith Freeman. Okay, you know what happened to him about three months ago, Dal Dalton administrator charged with fraud in federal court. We had deja vu this week because we had thick leg Lacey. What Yoshi Lacey. Don't you look, don't Lacey look like Yoshi? Y'all remember Yoshi from Mario Brothers? Uh, Yoshi was cute. And his arms were shorter than his legs, thick ass legs. Uh-huh. Yeah. We had him being charged with the same thing this week, baby. So we already know they're going down the same route, but let's just do this flashback. And we have some new developments on a suburban government that's mired in accusations of scandal. The mayor of Dalton is already under investigation, and there are allegations of misconduct surrounding an official trip to Las Vegas. Well, now a top administrator is facing fraud charges. Regina Waldrop explains. Trustee Andrew Holmes? No. Several high-level officials in South yes. Suburban Dalton facing a rush of lawsuits and investigations. Oh. Federal prosecutors accuse Keith Freeman of making false statements in his bankruptcy petition. Freeman currently serves as village administrator and as municipality manager of Thornton Township. There has been uh, several times that we have gone back and forth and we have talked about um, being able to get past all of this. The indictment alleges that Freeman made several false statements and omissions in the bankruptcy petition filed in January. It says he knowingly underreported income he derived from his employment, as well as fees he received from his private consulting business. Oh, Freeman has not been arraigned and the village declined to comment. This latest legal issue comes days after a civil lawsuit was filed against Mayor Tiffany Henyard and trustee Andrew Holmes, who is a well-known community activist. It was filed by the mayor's former assistant and a Dalton police officer. The lawsuit accuses Holmes of assault and battery and Henyard of retaliation. The incidents allegedly occurred during and after an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. Having done the motion, we have a second. Days ago, four Dalton trustees appointed Lori Lightfoot, Chicago's former mayor and a former federal prosecutor, as a special investigator to look into the Vegas trip and allegations of misappropriation and misspending by the mayor. But the village attorney in a letter writes, trustees completely lack the authority to appoint Lightfoot as additional legislative counsel. It goes on to say the mayor will not be approving any payments to Lightfoot because her appointment violates the law. Well, they hired her as a private investigator. She wasn't legal counsel. She was a private investigator. And um, I think the pressure, I'm going to be honest, that she may possibly put on the CPA 
and the pressure from the feds, I will hope. From the feds probably just sent the letter and left it alone. We still waiting right here. Okay. Lori Lightfoot was probably at the door every day and shit doing peekaboo on a motherfucker. Excuse me, popping up with her, her gray hair. I'm, I'm gonna fuck with her. That's how she got her to do that. I got to. I'm here. Ring the doorbell, doorbell. It's her face. Like, I'm here. Open his email. I'm here. That's why how the hell she got him to give. Because how she get the CPA to give information and the feds couldn't. Do you know that Henry did not reply? She didn't even reply to the state attorney general. None of them. So that's why we're going to keep our eye on the CPA of Dalton. But now we're going to highlight the finance director in Thornton. Henry is taking everyone down with her. With her Keith Freeman test um terminated from Thornton Township finally confirmed pop publicly. So this was two weeks ago, and this is a you know a flashback and an update on what's going on with him to the ones who don't know. Is it first? We was like, is allegedly, is allegedly he was still trying to call out orders to the end, but it was good what he did in Thornton because he had um, basically put that letter out, like basically you got to do everything by email, this, that, and the third. He's trying to lay down some laws. It ain't like they following them, but he, he tried to walk out the door on a good note, like, Feds, I need somebody. Feds, don't tell nobody. Feds, let's play this. <laughs> ben Bradley joins us now with what he uncovered. Ben? Dina and Ray, federal prosecutors charged Keith Freeman with bankruptcy fraud back in April, but that didn't stop T Tiffany Henyard from keeping him on the payroll in both Dalton and Thornton Township. Freeman denied in an afternoon text message to me that he had been fired from the township job, but we have the records that show he was and is raising speculation about his role in the ongoing federal investigation into Henyard's leadership. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Keith Freeman has been a top aide and trusted advisor to Tiffany Henyard in Dalton and Thornton Township for a few years now, even running interference when we've raised questions about Henyard's spending. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, there you go. There you go. Look at him holding his hand all tight and shit. You, you ain't see that, yo. What? Questions about Henyard's spending. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, there you go. There you go. They having a they having a Trump and Biden handshake. Oh, this why it's the hey Woody. Y'all know I've, I've been watching this. It popped up. I'm gonna be going live later on tonight doing YSL. I'm doing um a live on that. Why I popped up like Woody in there telling on people. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to what we, you just saw. Keith ass up there. Keith Freeman was a, he a quiet gangster. See, he not like Keith Price talking about. Arr, arr. You know, but he's over there like uh, he having a, a hand battle. Like you remember, who was it? Trump and one of the national. They was like at the um, United Nation meeting, and it was someone from another country, one of them presidents. And Trump was going with them. They was going at it with the hands and shit. They were showing power. So that's what you saw Keith Freeman doing. Let's get to these comments real quick before we get a little bit into the finance director just to introduce him into this subject matter then we're going to get into the credit card some of the things that i've seen which ask some questions and then we're going to get into the hard part the hard part is just breaking down the concepts of this um these bank accounts that i went through i tried to pick out the most relevant and weirdest things that you guys can ask what the fuck what the fuck going on okay and then you guys are going to be educated let me stop using Tiffany word. You guys are going to be updated and informed on the two cases that involve these three individuals. You see what I'm saying? That's why we're going to do a comprehensive live here. And you know, we're going to break it down. So we're going to have a lot for you coming up this week. Where are we going to right now? All right. Now let's put them on a glass. Let's, yeah. Oh, wait, no, we're not we're supposed to get to the comments. All right. So Lisa Lee, blessings welcome i haven't seen you before and i'm getting i'm trying to get better with names okay i know somebody jeff baker blessings hello hello he literally looks like a gargling warlock demon he do you saw him in that little shorts when he popped in my camera he scared me i was like oh, don't touch me <laughs> wait wait is he nice is he scary <laughs> all right um 
Sir Mix a Lot. Yes, that was Sir Mix. That was the worst song ever. You know, that's when they turned us out, y'all. That's when the music turned real bad. You know, we just started having sexualism. But now I'm an 80s baby. I love music. So it's just like I'll be making these things my ad libs. The township pantry is separate from one in Dalton owned by Dr. Scott. Yes, and that's what I was about to clarify because I know that this town, this pantry is under Thornton um, money. Definitely. That's the paperwork that we went over. Dalton, I don't think they have their own pantry, but they can have access to um, Thornton Township. So I, I was updated and informed that Thornton Township provides the services for many other towns or cities in that area because they're these things are like nine to ten block radiuses. For real, y'all, we from bigger cities. Some of y'all can't even imagine this. When I look at the numbers of spending and then I remember how it looked when I was there, I said, what if what are they buying? Where is it going? You see what I'm saying? It, it's like that. So someone had told me that is a mayor that has about nine radius block, nine by nine. And so they like, I don't know how much off the top of my head Thornton has to authority to hand out. Um, services and supplies but there's like a few different smaller municipalities that can do that and that's why people keep saying Dalton will have to depend on Thornton for services because they're going to be bankrupt so they are separate and they are trying to stop the doctor from having her stuff J J Jeff House ain't got nothing to do with Thornton Township who who is that house oh his name is house name is Jeff Y'all gonna mind. I know it's I know it's out. Shut up, y'all. I'm getting better. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, I'm confused. Girl, me too. I'll be confused too. I don't be, don't be, don't be ashamed. We'll get it together here together. And he says, price is not going hungry. Hell no, he got enough on preserve like a polar bear. His ass got hibernate. <laughs> all that damn food, all that expired food in the food pantry. Price is not uh raising on the door in Thornton ship scow food. He has his mount. What is it? Mountain in the cash register. What is it? What are you talking about? Mountain. I'm already saying this wrong. What is that? I have to be saying that wrong. I apologize if I butcher what you said, Jerome. But his ass ain't hungry. All right. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna move on into our financial director. Let's put him on because I felt, like I said, I felt so bad for him. I was like, this guy is a good guy. He tricked me by looking nice and quiet. And guess what happens? The CPAs, they be the one that actually flip and turn on their uh, boss. Okay. Because they have all the information and they're not about to go to jail for that shit. Sitting there getting bossed around, told what to do. And now I got to go to jail for you. Hell no. Three former employees sued Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henry, alleging retaliation for not following orders. Now, this is a flashback, and this was um, March 16, 2024. We're going to listen to this short article, and then we're going to get into the numbers, okay? Come on, baby. Give it a chance to load up. I'll be saying, girl, you're live. Oh, you know what? Mm. Chicago Times always do this. Why do they always do this? They try to make you pay for stuff. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can find another article with this one. All right. Yeah, let's get it. So what's wrong with y'all? The Chicago Tribune. That's who it is. And there's another one out there. It's one more newspaper. I'll be looking out there. Y'all was trying to make people pay for y'all stuff. What's wrong with you? Give us a few minutes to have some free reading. Okay? All right, let's get it. I got it. Apologize, y'all. I didn't know it was the Chicago Tribune. Sometimes you can get stuff for free, and sometimes just say no. Three former village employees are now taking legal action against Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard for what they described as a toxic work environment that eventually led to their wrongful terminations. The way she treated me and other people was wrong. Sabisha Williams is one of three former village employees suing Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and the village of Dalton. These three cases are all based around the same 
premise that these are wrongful terminations at the hands of Mayor Henyard and her administrations. All three of the former employees say they were fired at some point near the end of 2022. William says the workplace environment worsened about a year before that, starting with the mayor asking her to do things that she says were unethical. Withhold building permits, business licenses to people that didn't donate to her campaign or just people she didn't like in general. William says she continued to raise concerns about that with the mayor, but she was later moved to the water department before eventually being fired. I was the only person at that time that knew how to process business licenses, but they moved me to the water department anyway. Another complaint in a lawsuit on behalf of former Public Works Department employee Karen Johnson claims that she was intentionally treated differently from other similarly situated employees and that there was no rational basis for the difference in treatment. The lawsuit also states Henyard restricted certain village and or township employees access to village and or township buildings. It's all part of a lengthy list of accusations against Mayor Henyard, which also allegedly included a tarnished relationship with her village trustees. We did a mock trial to practice muting the trustees because she didn't want the trustees to have a voice. In her words, she was at war with the trustees. Mm -hmm. One of the former employees is hoping to get her job back from this lawsuit, while the other two are just hoping to move forward, as they say this has caused emotional and financial damages. I didn't want to file at first, but I just it just didn't sit well not to do nothing. Let me stop right here because the the uh, Chicago Tribune, the one reason why I wanted it because it was something nice in the article, and I hope it don't cut off because I'm just trying to read it for free. It's two former Dalton employees and one former Thornton employee filed three separate lawsuits Wednesday against Dalton Mayor Thornton Township Tiffany Henry, alleging that their termination, they were terminated out of retaliation for not supporting a politician. Also, uh, also, all of the in the suit, it also named Keith Freeman, a special assistant to Henry in Thornton Township and village administrator of Dalton. Two of the suits named the village of Dalton, while the name Thornton Township and its director of finance, Robert Hunt, was named in it. And that's what I wanted to read the tribute one. I pulled up this uh, one because I thought it was it had the same title but it was different. I, he, this one, she didn't talk about Robert Hunt and I did not know that he was involved. So I'm still trying to read this article before it jumps off my street. So it was her, this was her case that involved Robert Hunt. It says a lawsuit from Karen Johnson, a former administrative assistant of Dalton Public Works Department, alleges the real reason for the termination was due to Johnson searching for stories that painted Henry in a negative light. The lawsuit claimed Johnson was discovered reading and sharing negative articles on, on office internet and states she refused to campaign for Henry. Now, um, it was something that William said. Wait, I'm trying to, I know, I think Hunt did something specifically in this. I'm trying to see. Henyard also asked Tracy for a list of all township employees with notes detailing all of their faults and any known dirt on them. Given what Tracy may have known on HR manager, a line from the suit reads, Hunt also alleges her termination was also decided in part because she took medical leave and complained about not being paid as required by Illinois law. So Hunt played a part in this too. He should have just shut up because he could have maybe, you know, just played his part. Like he going to play it anyway, because you know he's going to turn state on her. That was what I wanted to get to the shout out to the Chicago Tribune, but you be pop, having pop-ups and stuff and trying to block people. So we couldn't listen to it, but I know it was something important that I wanted to get into. So Hunt was also kind of being a silent bully. That's what I was thinking. Like he thinking that this guy, I'm feeling got bad for this guy, and I'm no wrong person, and he's not as nice as what you would think. Anyone who just go with the flow is a problem. I'm just gonna let you guys know. Silence is acquiescence, but in this situation, he wasn't even silent. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the spending a little bit, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do. Let me pull this up. Y'all see me scratching my head like, how the hell are we about to do this? All right. I'm going to pull the document up and I want to send a shout out to Ty. Ty, that's in um, Dalton Politics. 
He did a lot of work as well as Mr. Roberts do a lot of work as well, getting these freedom of information requests um, published or sent to him, actually, because it's really hard. These people are ridiculous when it comes to asking for this stuff. All right. So we're going to get it on the screen. Thank you guys for being with me. Hit the like button. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> she said thick, thick hands. Yes, Jerome. Thick ass hands and thick ass everything. <laughs> All right. So now that we got this on the screen, this document is provided to us by Ty. Um, and he is an adult in politics group. As you see, this document has 368 pages. And I got through this, y'all, an hour and a half. But I was tired. I was like, fuck, yeah, I can't get through the rest of this. But I did, and I got a good understanding since 2023. Full report. So at the bottom is where they started with the, um, well, they have one credit card statement at the top. And then the credit card statements at the bottom. This, no, this is the bank. Oh, when y'all see the bank, y'all gonna be mad. Here we go. Yeah, this is the this is the credit card. Hold on. They have an old national credit. Card. Here we go. Bear with me. I'm trying to get to the top so you can see these people. Well, yeah. Okay, this is the beginning. Oh boy. I'm gonna tell y'all when y'all get into this, y'all gonna be so mad. This was bad right here. This right here. I was mad, but we're going to move forward. That That's a whole nother subject. That's going to we get into the statement. I was like, oh, shit, look what you done did. Money? Money? That's what I thought I saw. I said, oh, they done. Um, Mr. Roberts and all of the rest of the Thornton Township, I'm going to give you a heads up. Y'all need to really look. I'm just giving y'all a heads up before we get in here. Please look and act into the money market account. We're going to get into that next. But right now, we're going to just talk about the credit cards and the sellings in this credit card. The, the, the people who are who have their hands on this credit card, and I'm going to be honest, in 2023, it does not have Tiffany Henry's name as a person because each card holder has their name on it. So we're going to um, make this bigger so you can see it. Each card holder has their name on it. And I didn't see Henry's name on this, but it really made me open my eyes to Robert Hunt. Because I was like, who the... F Robert Hunt? Who Robert Hunt? Y'all know I be acting up with names. I was like, is that the, the finance person? I had to check, text my baby. Like, excuse me. Who is Robert? It's like finance director of thoughts. And I said, oh, shit. Here we go. So some of the things that we did see on this credit card spending that was weird to me before we show you specifically who did what was extra space. You know, you may can have things stored, but I don't know what... They're storing an extra space. This is Thornton Township credit card. This is a township credit card, not even a regular business. Okay. I know they consider um, towns and states businesses. Y'all don't know that. Uh huh. It's set up like a business, as you can see. You can bankrupt it. But um, I don't think that they need all of this. Comcast, I, I was wondering about Comcast. There's a lot of Comcast charges, but maybe they're paying cable for all the entities. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Amazon. People kept talking about Amazon, Amazon, and they were showing Tiffany Henry, Tiffany Henry. We're going to get to that because the Amazon transactions actually fall under Robert Hunt. Dun, 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 dun. Robert Hunt may be Tiffany Minyard, a minion, <laughs> a little henchman. How about that? And people been saying that. And I'm like, being so damn mean to him and now i'm seeing it because it seems like the the spending was a wild under him and i know he's the financial director right or under, over finance but you're going to see what i'm talking about um there were monies charged to tollways for twenty dollars verizon had eight transactions in one day um it looks like they bought eight different phones or something for two thousand dollars and change Following that next month, it was a $32,000 bill to Verizon. I was like, damn, I hope that's not a monthly bill. What? Because first it was separate, 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 separate bill. I'm going to see, can I show that to y'all? That is, as far as the credit cards, they have Kohl's. They have Dick's Clothing. They have a jewel. It's Osco Jewel. I don't know if that's a jewel place, but I did see it twice. But I saw it under, I think, ooh, I, it was under Keith. Freeman. Oh, we're going to talk about Keith. 
Keith, you you going we going. Mm. There's a reason why he filed bankruptcy. That nigga don't know how to spend. Okay, first and foremost, he didn't give a fuck. Keith went in. Okay, he had the next largest spending amount next to um Robert, but Robert had more of a reason to than Keith. Okay, I'm talking about Keith Freeman. Um, what else? Who else? Blueberry Field, thicker than a snicker. We found your favorite place. I don't know if that, I thought, I was like, is that the place? First, I thought it was Hingard until I looked like, oh, Hingard name not even on this. I was like, she taking her daughter to these places? Like Blueberry. I said, oh, no. I think that's thicker than a motherfucking schnicker. That's, that's his shit. No, it's thick leg. It's thick leg. No, it's thick leg Lacey. Yes, that's what it is because he looked like. And then Keith Price is just, just big. He's just big all over. Yeah, I'm just getting them mixed up, y'all. I'm trying to keep their nicknames at bay. And then I was like, who the fuck shops at Bliss Beauty and spend $1,735? We're going to get to this. And I'm like, Robert, huh? Do you wear the motherfucking orange wigs? You're bald-headed. You're bald. Hold on, let's put them on the screen. Is he bald-headed? What the hell is he buying from the beauty supply store? That no, he's not bald headed. He almost bald headed. He look he he was so stressed out. I thought he was bald headed. <laughs> what are you buying from the beauty supply store for one thousand seven hundred and thirty five dollars? All right, so let's get to it. I know I did a lot of talking, but that's the opening description of what we got going on here. All right, so now you're gonna see a breakdown of OO National Bank. Now this is from. The date here says 129, 2023. So it's going to break down from the beginning of 2023 all the way to 2020 for the beginning. Okay. Now these, each statement has each party's name, who is the spender. Robert E. Hunt Jr. Okay. This is the gentleman we've been talking about. Let's put him on a glass so y'all can remember. Okay. This is some of his spending. We're going to highlight some of his spending. If y'all want me to do each person section by section, I think I'm going to do that. That'll be much better instead of going in between for each month. But we're going to look at Robert Hunt's spending first. So we know that he's, you know, director of finance. So he should be paying for a lot of stuff. So we were, I was seeing the extra space here. Um, you know, some of these things were pretty basic. Adobe Reader. You know, you see Amazon Marketplace, Amazon Marketplace. People kept saying, who mar Who is it? It's Robert Hunt's account. It has to be. And he he has a pretty good um, affinity to spend on Amazon. So this is something that uh, you guys should really pull up. And I know that they have done this in Dolts and Politics about this Amazon, but they connected to just Hingard. They need to put the pressure on his ass so he can start telling. Because there's a lot of Amazon extra space. We got Comcast. Okay. I'm like, maybe he's there spending on more than one person bill. Okay. $495. Who I don't, I don't like cable that much. I don't know what type of Comcast is this, but my internet don't cost this much, but I know that these are businesses and buildings, but these are the things that y'all need to like clarify. Okay. And this is under hunt. So right here, this is when I talked about the Verizon connect. Look at this. It is eight transactions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight transactions of $2,000 plus for Amazon Connect. So it looks like on 126 that eight people got phones or something electronic, okay? And you're going to see in the next month the $32,000 bill. So um, let me see. This is still, okay, so this is Keith Freeman. We're not going to get to him yet. We're going to go down to the next month where we're going to continue to look at Robert Hunt because I don't want to mix people up. I wanna, we're going to stay right on that same person. Robert Hunt is the first person on the spending list. So let's keep watching what Robert Hunt is spending. We got the Amazon Marketplace, $29, $77. I don't know what they're buying. Maybe he's in, in, in charge of supplies, but if this is he's in charge of supplies, he's doing a bad job because- my mama is the HR director, and I used to work under her. I got a lot of different skills, okay? Before I became a nurse, I was working as kind of like a administrative assistant for like four or five years. I was a receptionist getting paid. Receptionist money under seven and administrators treat me like a slave. But I learned a lot. And one thing I know is that they have one vendor, two vendors for certain things. It is a rotating, repeated budget 
on what they need because they know the consensus of the office, what's being used, and it's not a lot of fluctuation. If it is, it's probably a holiday or a event. So you guys need to really pay attention to this Amazon marketplace because he is probably most likely frivolously spending for um, tenure. There's also a marvelous media group, South Holland. There's a $4,000 transaction. So heads up, guys. I know I got y'all listening, Dalton. Um, politics, y'all be on it. Find out who is marvelous media group because they got paid $4,200 from the Thornton Township in February. Okay. <clears throat> what do y'all got going on here? And that, that wasn't the people who, I don't think those are the people who was at the meeting asking for their money. Now, this is where I said, oh, shit, Veraza came back to bite you. $31,000, $31,465. I hope y'all can see this nice and clear. Let me make it bigger. Can y'all see it? Let me see. I need y'all to see this. Can y'all see it now? Can you see it? You, you see the Verizon right here? Okay. I made sure y'all can see it. The Verizon is $31,465. What the is that? Now, this is under Robert Hunt's account. So we know that I think, in my opinion, is that Henry is, you know, holding him by the neck, saying, order this, order this. He's like, okay, okay, help me, help me, y'all. He was his ass like a kidnapped child, don't know what to do. So here again, we got the Comcast bills coming in consistently, consistently. We, I, I'm not sure if these are different locations, but how many different buildings do y'all have that Thornton Township has to pay for all these separate Comcast bills? Now, um, extra space storage. What are y'all storing in there? And I think this was something that I heard the super producer bring up. Because she said something about the Mayfair going into the storage. I think I started laughing. She went live yesterday talking about this. So y'all definitely get go to her live. She's going live tonight. And y'all know me. I'm going to go a little deeper than that. Y'all remember that Mayfair conspiracy? Go Google it. What they said, those items was really on sale and they wasn't the items. Like the couch was named, the name was Sarah, the Mac, Sarah, Sarah Comfy. And that'd be the couch name. And they said that that was allegedly missing kids. Y'all know I'll be paying attention to the shit I ain't supposed to. But that was going viral for a long time because it was literally like a little couch, like a one seater for like $13,000. Shit like that. Now that's what made it come to life. Like, whoa, what if I pay $13,000 for a chair for Sarah Comfort or Comfy? So that was the kind of conspiracies to... Mm. We're going to move on. Anyway, y'all know I'll be going to the left. Continue. This is talking about Robert Hunt. I, I'll be going to the left. I'm trying to see what else um under him that I wanted to highlight. Har Har Robert, well, we're going to get to Keith. So Robert, I think he was the individual in all aspects. We're going to go to one more month of Robert Hunt that was doing Henry's dirty work. That's what I'm really thinking. In a nutshell, I think he was doing Henry's dirty work. When you look at his charges on a credit card, it doesn't look like how Keith Freeman is and Keith Price shit is. It doesn't look like that. He He's one of the top spenders, but it does look consistent. Uh, the car gas bill, things like that, the extra space, it comes up consistently. Amazon, now, I don't know what the hell is this. Then it's a few things that he probably was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy me something too. So it's like Illinois Tollway. You'll see a Panera Bread for $154, but he don't have it as much as they do. He got a Dunkin' Donuts for $37.76. It wasn't a lot, though, but it is in here. So that's one of my things that I need to start stating right now so you guys can, can remember for this. Remember this. Take this a picture. I never heard in my life that a company give a credit card or especially a township just to their employees to go fucking walk around. I don't care. If you ain't the CEO, you don't get a credit card, period. If you have access to the credit card, which I have heard of because, you know, it is what it is. People need access. It is left at the facility. I'm just, we're going to start talking about this because we're going to have to have some common sense, y'all. This is an easy motherfucking fix. Okay. 
is left at the facility with the accountant or the person's in charge of finance. And then they sign out the card when they need it. They put a description on it. And then it's supposed to be some type of guidelines of what the damn card is used for or not used for. It, I never heard a day in my damn life. Here we go. He got a little Panera bread again. He was acting up. He said, fuck it. I'm about to buy me something. But everything else seemed legit. I'm just going to ask one question, too. Y'all need to figure this out for me, too. When it comes to Robert Hunt, it seems legit except for the Amazon and the wig that he got. When did he get this wig? Let me go down. I'm going to show y'all. I, I called it a wig. I don't know what the hell he got. It was Oh, matter of fact, it wasn't Robert Hunt who got it. It was Keith Freeman. We're going we gonna to show you he got that shit. Not on Robert Hunt. So as far as Robert Hunt, you guys really need to put the pressure on him because he's going to be one of the ones that turn. He's going to turn fast. As soon as the feds come, he's going to turn fast. If the feds is not really focus, focus on, Do on, on Thornton. Once they hit his ass, he's telling like a canary. You think he going to go to jail for him? Down that? This one over here? Oh, I know. He he for the week. Yeah, he for the week. Nah, you can't do everything with everybody. That's why I'm picky. I do it by myself. So that right there is Robert Hunt. I wanted you guys to pay attention. Kind of see where that spending was coming from and difference that it totally wasn't hindered. She had a cover up, allegedly, because her name not on 2023. Maybe in 2024, we're going to see those and get to that, but not on these, okay? Let me see what y'all got going on out here. Uh, make a video on this. Susan Man Mendeza, controller website. What do you mean? Is on there? What is that? Tell me a little bit more about that because uh, I know that Thornton has their stuff at the controller, but I know Dalton don't. That's why we're going to go into Dalton. I, I was going to do Dalton and versus Thornton today. I was like, hell no. Dalton is a whole nother animal. So I know how to present that. I have to present that much different. Okay. Is the media suspended of all uh, offset funding to the village of Dalton? Offset refers to money collected from the state. I'm about to read your, your comments, GGB, and get to know what you're talking about. Okay. Because, you know, I be need, once I hear y'all talk about something, I kind of start looking into it and then it makes sense because I'll be on the outside trying to figure this out. All right, so now we're going to put this guy on the glass. Put him on the glass, girl. Put him on the glass. His ass, you already know he's snitching. And this is why he's snitching. Not only what we showed you earlier, but the bank statements. The, I mean, these credit card statements. This jigger, someone please call 911. This one, he was a wildin' with the credit card. And he didn't give a damn. Going shopping for his wife while he's playing with Carmen. Look, y'all see y'all see my freestyle skills. <laughs> oh my god, while I stroll and figure this out. Okay, to the top, let's start it again. Okay, so that was Robert Hunt. This next corporate here is Keith Freeman Freeman. And y'all need to tell me, please tell me who is Tony Sherman. He hasn't done a lot here. But he did go to Hooters and Sam's Club. Tell me who Tony Sherman. There's other people here on this credit card. They didn't do as bad at all. But they were doing some bullshit because they saw their friends doing that. Like, fuck that. We're going to go get me some Walmart. We're going to go get me some food. These bitches balling. So you can see a little bit of turn up, just like some stupid stuff. Like, for instance, what I'm showing you now, whoever this person is, this is dumb. What do you do? What do you do? You went to Hooters? Or maybe he had a meeting. You know what I'm saying? But he did it smart. He was like, once a month. That's what I do. He's like, this time I went to shop. We had a meeting at home. I could see this. You see, I think like IRS because I have been audited and I have taken a few courses too that I love to learn. It. And this one lady said, if you can't prove it, you didn't do it. That's all you got to do is prove it. But proving it is with fact and logic. You can't just say, here's go to bill. That's why I was telling um, Keith Price, like, you stupid? I said, what? You, I understand you could go to lunch and things are right off, but not every fucking thing, not everything. And that's what one of the things I said to him. I'm like, oh, y'all think y'all can do business right offs and it's going to be okay. This going to get y'all ass on it. I'm a geek. Now, let's get into Freeman. This people, he said, fuck y'all. I'm about to ball out. Let's put it to this nigga crazy. Oh, he don't care. He don't care. 
So this is what this is, Keith Freeman, and it starts from this is the uh, 12, 20, 2023. You're going to see, uh, I don't know what Cooper's is. You you have, I'm going to highlight the bad stuff. Hooters, uh, Starbucks for 35, Fossil Moor Station, Rest Station, Panera Bread, uh, The Daily Herald, his subscription, $16. Coles, Target, this motherfucker was wilding. Simply Cellular, Dalton, let's keep going. Best Buy, this was his regular credit card. This wasn't, no way, no way. I don't care if you, you're not supposed to do this. He went, I'm going to tell you, he spent this credit card like a young white boy who didn't give a damn. Y'all ever saw that? It was this commercial or this show where a guy, he spent all his money on his credit, the, the boss credit card. He was like, you really going to fire me? But you said I can spend everything. I can spend what I need to. He was like, not $10,000 worth. You don't need a skateboard. That's the shit that I see here. I forgot what, what I was watching. I was cracking the fuck up. He was like, you really fired me. Can we just start again? That type of stupidness. This guy right here. Now he likes blueberry filled as well, just like um Keith Price, uh Keith Freeman. This Keith I'm um, Keith Freeman, just like Keith Price. So what else we got? Um Office Max, um PayPal, Bliss Beauty. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. Now this was one transaction of five hundred sixty five dollars. I'm telling you, what the fuck you need from Bliss Beauty? Makeup. This nigga gave his wife the car. This went shopping. Allegedly. Allegedly. Walgreens, Target. Only, only decent thing I see here is Adobe Reader. Adobe Reader. Of course. You're going to pay for your Adobe Reader. What else we see here? Same things. Target. He loves Sam's Club. $1,516. Do he have, did he pay for a vent for Hinger? Or did he fill up his damn pantry in that big ass house he had? Allegedly. Okay, okay, true barbecue and whiskey bar, one hundred and ninety three dollars. That's why. That's why you think he, you think, and then they're gonna talk about tell the trustee or oh, the trustee should work with him because he's squilling. Look at this history. Seafood Junction, food for less. He was shopping. That was his card in his pocket, and that's what I said, guys. This is a simple fix to this. The card stays on premises. Unless the authorized person who can distribute it gives it to you, you sign it out and you put a description and you bring that motherfucker back. You say how much you're going to spend it. Point blank, period. Everything else that you need should be on automated at this point. You need supplies for your little area. It's automated. That comes every two months. I spent $150, $200 on paper, pens, things like that. I don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see this shit. I'm a business owner and I, I'm telling you, I'm very meticulous about my spending and being a single mother. This shit don't work. Okay. So um, please tell me who Jocelyn King is too. They didn't, um, Jocelyn King didn't spend a lot. She probably did one or two stupid shit, but Jocelyn King as well. She just went in like rush card free fee. I don't know. She just got a fee. Um, I had saw her go in and do something else, but let's just finish with Keith Freeman. Let's just highlight one more, a few, because this we could just two two months of his stupidity, and I went through the, all this shit, all this shit, just, just, just to come up with this simple thing that this nigga lost his damn mind and he was using it as a credit card, and that's why he's going to tell. And he should do some time still. Um, he has Lowe's here. He returned whatever he bought to Lowe's. Um, Walgreens, the fuck you buying for Walgreens for $512? Who shops at Walgreens? Girl, Express Grill, you shop at Walgreens? Um, this was Illinois Public Safety Direct. What is that? It's two payments to Illinois Public Safety Direct. Y'all need to do a little bit of investigation, y'all, because y'all out there, y'all find these places faster than me too. Um, two transactions on 2 2023 one was of 3,500, 3,600 paid to them. And then one was of 5,300 paid to them. I'm highlighting that because it's two transactions on the same damn day. So what the fuck was you buying for? Basically you spend almost $9,000 on a credit card and his total amount for this month 
the month of January was 24,000. And then if you compare that to um, Robert Hunt spending, who's doing Tiffany Henry spending, Robert Hunt spent 93,000 in that one month with all this Amazon shit and extra space. Oh my God. All right, let me see what else. Let me see. Oh, I'm gonna see what else can I find under uh, Keith Freeman because Keith Freeman is fun. This one really did everything. He went to Grub Hub, Uncle Jolie's. He did everything on uh, Square on demand printing. He spent five thousand dollars on demand printing in February. What the hell was he printing for that five thousand and one hundred and seventy-seven dollars, guys? That is Keith Freeman. Please pay attention to that. That has anything to do with politics, advertisement, having to do with the election. I don't care. Tell. I like it. FBI. You hear what we saying. Jamaican jerk choice. What else? He is a fun guy. Party city. Times three. He went. He Somebody was having a birthday. He went. Yup. It's like when I'm going shopping my kid's birthday. Um, 216, he spent $74. 217, he spent $69. Then that 218, somebody was having a party. Dollar store, $91. Yup, somebody was having a party. Figure out what party it was having. It wasn't here. 218. I could tell. I'll be looking at shit like, what the fuck you was doing right here? Just look like you was having a party. Um, so the party city again. So somebody was having a party right there. Um, super laundry. I guess he sent his clothes to get washed on you guys too. Chipotle, Chinese food. I'm trying to just highlight some of the good stuff. Okay. Now, Jocelyn. We're going to just jump to Jocelyn real quick. Y'all got to tell me who Jocelyn is. Y'all told me who she is in the comments. Let me look. Anybody know? Facebook. Yes. Get him, girl. Thank you. Please tell me who Jocelyn is. Check this broad out. She I told you she was like, fuck this. I'm going to spend something too. Because she was doing good. I was watching shit like, oh, yeah, she chilling. This one, she spent like $6,000 on the second. Um, I mean, in February. She went to Walmart. That's what I told you. Remember earlier I said somebody went to Walmart. I said, fuck that. $3,000. What the fuck is you buying in Walmart for $3,000? That's like when somebody from the hood get a new apartment. You know what I'm saying? We buy everything from Walmart. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. But damn. What was you doing? Well, I know if I went to Walmart, spent three thousand dollars, I look back on my bill. I was like, yeah, I moved. I bought a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? From Walmart, getting me started. But this right here is a little weird. Now, this is another thing too. Um, this was under Jocelyn account. It looks like she made some payment to Tiffany Hinyard, uh, Freeman, Fania Dukes. Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh shit! I sorry y'all. I ain't see that. I. Oh, I don't know. I'm just reading. So what happened? Is this is when they went to Vegas? When was Vegas? This was too. No, no. Wait the fuck a minute. Grace Levi is thinking. Go to back up to this page. What the fuck year was this? Ooh, I'm stressed out right now. I hope this ain't bad. I gotta get back to the top. Because I got to confirm this. This was 2023. I'm stressing. Okay. Okay. So it was 2023. What happened when it happened with Fania? Could y'all please tell me? Please let it have happen after this. Because it better not have happened before this. Because y'all know me. My motherfucking brain be going to the left. What? Let's go back to Jocelyn. How's she getting money? Oh, I found. I don't know what I found. I don't know what I found, but I'm taking a damn picture. Look, y'all. What y'all think about that? That's weird. Y'all see that? God, why you let me find that on the live? Why you didn't give me a chance to find that off of the live? Well, Jocelyn King, because somebody tell me what she do. She made a payment on 220, 2023 to tiffany henry the 528 dollars key freeman oh that's united united is this when they went where they went together this was a flight you think this was the flight to to um las vegas y'all 
Because y'all know I'm not, I don't know all the timeline. This may be the fight to Las Vegas. I hope this is the last time I see Fania Duke's name up here. Because I'm not going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be just like, because the last time I saw her name pop up was on the list. And I had to get quiet like, damn. You know, because you be torn. Stop catching me off guard with the shit. Okay, y'all? Damn it. You know I'm going to just talk. Okay. Moving forward, can somebody tell me who Jocelyn King is? They'll be in my inbox and tell me. Let me see if I can find one more thing on Keith Freeman. Damn, I'm looking for him, and I'm going to find more stuff. Let's see one more thing, Keith Freeman, and then we're going to go into Keith Price, okay? We're going to get into pre Keith Price and finish and get into the finances because I'm where, where, we, where we at. Okay, we one hour in. We're doing good. I, I want to move forward. Now, let's see. Who is this? Matter of fact, let's move on to Keith Price. That's what we're going to do. Let's move on to Keith Price. Let me put Keith Price on the screen. I think we learned a lot right there. I'm a little shocked. I'm a little shocked. I'm sorry, y'all. That threw me the fuck off. I hope that was just the flight and that'd be the last time because I, I didn't see that. I went through this whole damn document, but you can't. That's why I told um, with Carmen was get the paper just before the meeting. There's no way you could go through all of that and remember. I literally took notes for an hour and a half on these pages that I'm going to print this in into you. And I'm, I just found some more shit. So that's why you need time to go through that. And then it popped up on my ass. It got me thinking, people think I'm talking about Fania. And I just said her name because it's on the paper. Okay. Let's go down. Let's get down to now. We're going to get to, let's see, Keith Price. Because I did see his name added. I mean, Robert, uh, Keith Freeman. It was Keith Price. It was Robert Hunt. Yeah, let's see where Keith Key Price is. I think I saw Keith Price. Now, Keith Price, I think he was added further down. Tony Sherman. Y'all know who that is? Some of these people didn't do too bad on a credit card, but they had some weird stuff going on with they, with they spending. So I want to know who these people are. Now, let me see if I can find Keith Price because I think he's towards the end. That's Keith Freeman. What's he put on? Give me a second, y'all. Robert Hunt Jr. Every month, $74,000 and plus. Jocelyn King. This is when Jocelyn King spent a lot of money. She spent $13,000 in the next month. She started spending a little bit more. Jerk Hunt. Outback, Senior Salsa, Walgreens, Expedia, went on vacation, possibly. This is this is Jocelyn King. So someone has to tell me who she is because she got her hand on this credit card. Um, Baymont, I think, is that a hotel? It looks like some hotel, Sam's Club. She spent $1,105 on Sam's Club. I think I'm getting to the end of this. Let me pull up my other document and maybe I could find Keith Price, his specific spending. And if I can't find it this year, I know he was added on to the uh, credit card. I mean, last year he was added on this year. Let me just make sure because I've been doing, I did a whole skim of this. Okay, Robert Hunt. Okay. I think... Keith Price is going to be on the 2024 version of this. And I do have a copy of the 2024. But what I want to do, like always, I want to review it. This is 2023, the full state uh, finance statements. And at the end of this 368 page document was the credit cards that we just went over. Okay, so please mind. I will update you guys with Thicker Than a Snicker, Keith Price credit card spending when I look into the 2024. But what I did highlight about Keith Price that you guys need to remember, there is six every election. 
So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee. trustee. I sat where they are. Right. That's why I know the the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years. Yes. Okay. Uh, Plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Township? 2025. So those elections are the same time? They are. Bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Okay. A bullshit. A bullshit. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program, which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.